Hello everyone. Now I am going to discuss about classification of crop workers. So what is meant by composite worker? The basic elements in the component. So composite is nothing but the grains of the body of heterogeneous mixture, consisting of one reinforcement and one matrix. So that is complex composite. So these are actually composites are categorized into Matrix basic composites and reinforced composites. Reinforced basic composites. So in matrix basic composites, it is again categorized into three different matrix. First one is polymer matrix, second one is matrix matrix, and the third one is ceramic matrix. When, when coming to the reinforced based composites, it is divided into fiber reinforced, viscous reinforced, particle reinforced matrix. So first of all, we will go to be about classification based on matrix. So composites is divided into three categories: metal matrix, ceramics, and polymers. So what is meant by metal matrix composites? It is nothing but it is it comes comprises of metal matrix. So metals is nothing but aluminum, magnesium, copper, cobalt, etc. And a dispersed ceramic like oxides, carbides or metallics like tungsten, lead, molybdenum, etc. So these type of metal matrix on preparation of composites is called as Metal matrix composites. In short, the composites which we are prepared by using the metals like metals like aluminum and taking the dispersed ceramics like oxides, metallic carbides, etc. That is called as metal matrix composites. Next comes to ceramic matrix composites. Ceramic mat ceramic matrix composites is nothing but it is composed of ceramic matrix and embedded fiber of other ceramic material that is called as is in this case it's polymer matrix. Polymer matrix is composed of one matter, one matrix from the thermostat that is polyester, epoxy or thermoplastic etc. And it also in comprises of glass, carbon, calvar and boron fibers. So as we have discussed in the previous slide, matrix based on reinforcement. This is matrix based on reinforcement. So these matrix are again categorized into particle reinforced composites, fiber reinforced and structural composites. In particle reinforced composites, it is large particle dispersion strengthen metal strengthen composites. In fiber reinforced, fiber reinforced is nothing but we are taking fibers like uh, uh, like natural fibers which can be extracted directly from the uh, civilizations as we uh, we were using in the previous years. So those are called as fiber reinforced composites. That may be short or long. And discontinuous fiber reinforced composites are again categorized into a random order and aligned oriented order. Structural is nothing but sandwich panels and laminate laminates. So just once think what are the particle reinforced composites and what is the difference between particle and fiber reinforced composites. Just think once. Okay. Now I will tell what is when the particle reinforced or Particle reinforced is also called as particulate composite. It is nothing but it composed of the particles suspended in a matrix. The particles 
may be of any size or shape it is relevant of the shape shape those are called as particle reinforced or particle reinforced components this is one of the example in this this is a cemented carbide in this matrix cobalt it's a ductile material composition is 10 to 15 percent it has high volume fraction and these are the particle sizes that is particles that is brittle high etc these are particulates are two subclasses of particulates are flake and fillet skeleton flake flake composite is generally composed of flakes with a larger ratio of platform area to thickness suspended in the matrix material this is called as flake material and second one fillet skeletal composed of a continuous skeletal matrix filled in the second matrix this is called as steel matrix. matrix next comes to fiber reinforced composites so fiber reinforced composites as we know that it consists of one matrix material and other will be the fibers fibers may be chopped viscous short or long it might be in any shape or any order no problem about it so by considering these fact, these uh, fibers, we use, we prepare a composite so called as fiber reinforced composites. In this, continuous fibers will be there. If we choose continuous fibers, it will be their properties will be it will be very long. They offer a continuous part by which a load can be carried by the composite part. But whereas a uh, discontinuous fibers, it has a chopped sections of it means uh, it is not a continuous fibers it has small small portions of continuous fibers and it has a short length l by d ratio is roughly 100 important type of discontinuous fibers are viscous the diameters may be 0 0.001 that is 0.00004 inches with very high strength. These are some of the examples of continuous fibers. In this continuous fiber reinforced composites, this is this is a fiber. It is having a continuous fibers, and this is planar continuous fibers in which uh, a woven of fabric is prepared. And this is uh, one of the best example of continuous fiber reinforced composites. This is having a composite strength of continuous fibers. This is a pressure as a pressure pressure cylinder having pressure cylinder. And next comes to discontinuous fiber reinforced composites. If in fiber reinforced composites, the aligned fibers are straight. The fiber reinforced composites are straight than those called as aligned fibers. If the fibers are aligned randomly, those are called as random fibers. And if the fibers are woven like we move in the cloth, the clothes like saris, etc., like those of material is called as woven fibers. Thank you very much for using it.